here we are with less embarrassment hopefully and I'm sure you don't mind seeing those this heaving again actually let's go meet this lot bucket hello um how about crossbow bolt no actually that seems to This is possibly my favorite death scene in the entire game. <laughs> oh yes. And again. And apparently you can't really click through this bit. weapon in the game and it is in one of these rooms. to look at that painting of a guardsman. Oh. <laughs> and here is Elvira's room. When she is in the kitchen, you simply cannot enter. The door is locked and you can do nothing to open it. So hey, I found your ring, in case you're interested. I suppose not, and this really does not need to go on this long. Can I leave now, please? Ah, finally! So let's not do that again. <laughs> yes, yes. I would love to leave, but the game won't allow me. scale. Are you tougher than a blue? Weaker than a purple? You, you're pretty tough. Not very good at parrying though, it seems like. You know, one way I could Cheat in these battles is to slow down those books so that, well, 
this thing. Fight moves in slow motion. Essentially, and ah, and gives me a uh, plenty of time to react to which side T. Bottle of laudanum. That's a poison, isn't it? Anyway, that's all there is to find in the bathroom here. So, slow down DOS box so the fights go pretty much in slow motion and I have plenty of time to react. Oh dear, another purple one. But that quite possibly means this is the room where I'm supposed to go to find what I am seeking for. The ultimate weapon. Which, by the way, is also necessary for com completing the game. <laughs> Thank you for not resisting. Oh dear. Ah, I can live with that. Okay, is this... Yes! So yeah, if you try to run away from enemies, there's a very li real chance that they'll ju they'll just they will just smack you in the back. <laughs> Off. So go down and now I think we want to go. one of you. This is quite the difficult level of enemy for being on the ground floor. But we shall overcome, it seems like. Also, yeah, you get... Separately from the skill, you get experience points. And they're on the right, on the stats. Oh, one per... Defeated enemy seems like, and prayer book, Xmin. The letter looks like the skin of a mythical animal. One of the spell ingredients is manticore leather. Guess what that? Guess which mythical animal that book is bound with? Oh yes, and Gideon Bible. Hmm. Anyway. Scroll with a prayer. That is what we wanted. Now, we examine this. Now we want to leave all this stuff in place. Go chalice. <coughs> and the octagonal recess, well, Ring is kind of octagonal. Stick that in there. And magic happens. And now we can go down here. Uh, let's see. Okay, now if we wait it. Having drunk the alphabet soup would allow translating that. Let's see. This, this first three words roughly translate as who oh, 
whoever or that which my lord something that uh, so salute is the name bit salute is anyway I believe what we do here is read the prayer <coughs> yes and this uh, um crusade sword crown just grab that and hmm. Ah, there we go. There's the death scene I was looking for. Uh. Oh, again. solution to the puzzle is well not all that difficult to figure out <laughs> place the crown there which allows you to take the sword and don't worry buddy we'll put this to good use Thus, we have the sword. Start as start at a fairly low skill, but I'm sure we'll bump that up quickly. And that's lovely levels of damage, as you can see. <coughs> nothing to do in this room. Uh, let's explore the rest of the first floor. Doesn't seem like you can actually do anything with the jukebox here. Uh, Absinthe. Yes, another spell ingredient. thought so. Sometimes these places restock their guards. Oh dear. I'm going to reload anyway. Might as well show you this death scene. Yep. Hmm. 
Okay, crown, prayer. Crown Sword. Let's just check. I have that. <clears throat> I don't honestly don't remember if there's uh, any better defense to be found in the game. supposed to be that good at blogging. Alright, oh, nothing here. Up. Not really where I meant to go. Hmm. guys Just rush at the enemy. Hey. skill points got two skill points from a single attack there well, now oh didn't actually know there would be a guard here now here we see 
the hound with a silver tipped. Hmm. Wonder what that might mean. Well. Let's rush it. Or oh, not. And there another gory death. Wait. Didn't we already see that on our throat somewhere? Hmm. Oh, and now it's gone, so I could glitch past. <sighs> past the werewolf. But we do have something made out of silver. We, now we just need to fashion it into a silver tip. Whatever might it be. This place, which we have not explored yet. This is... Well... The dungeons. Most of it is... Basically it is. And we find a bunch of insects here. And centipedes. Centipedes aren't insects, are they? Each room, let's see, five places you should explore the shelf, the stool, the hay, the bed, and the below. This is actually pretty tedious, so... And a new kind of enemy. The skeleton knight or guard. Oh, I like to aim for the exposed rib cage, so I don't know if... That makes much difference. They seem to be pretty much on the same level of difficulty as the... Hello. Oh. And that's another kind of ingredient you can find here in addition to all the creepy crawlies. Anyway. These skeletons seem to be roughly on the same level of difficulty as the human, or at least human-looking guards. Oh, right. Spiders, they are not insects, they are arachnids. Or something. And spider web. There is one special room around here. I think it might be this. No? Right, and a centipede. the middle to door towards the center. Oh yeah. Ah. I can never tell which way they are going to attack. <laughs> ah. This is basically a big square going around. And hello, slightly more difficult skeleton, I imagine. Or not. So, oh. Uh, it might be... Ah, must be to have such a fancy looking guard. <laughs> oh. ah. Ah. Okay, I can I can accept that. <clears throat> now, we go here and here 
here we have solved. And in here is a pair of tongues, and even though it looks like there's a door on the far side of the, well, I suppose this would be the torture chamber. Actually, no, you can't go there. Yep, but the spirit of the torturer still haunts here, and he is not happy about trying to mess with his tongues. To each, each, to each their own, I suppose. But, now as Elvira mentioned about Salt, well, that will be useful. Uh, nothing else here. Let me. Ah, we, we can grab this and it uncovers a key. And we actually want this whole set of bones as well. And we did not actually take the whole floor tile with us. <laughs> so... Well, we have the salt. Let's go use it. I, I think that'll be a good ending for this video. I'll... I'll blow through all, all the cells of camera since there's nothing exciting there. And I'm sure I'll slay a few skeletons along the way as well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Also, given how not to know this place looks, it's easy to get confused about where exactly you are. Nah. <coughs> mm. Oh, I did get the spider web. Hooray! Um, um. Slam the doors. Oh, also, the golden key we got there. is actually first of the keys we need to unlock the chest Elvira's mentioned. Actually, given that previously attacking the cook with the crossbow seemed to hit her, I wonder if they, you could just brute force her to death. But... Hmm. Here we go. <coughs> uh, I'm melting. So, until next time.